All right, guys and gals, just got back from a very expensive trip to West Marine. As many of you, I'm sure, are aware, West Marine carries all kinds of really cool boating accessories and products, cleaners, etc. And uh, if you're in the process of trying to clean your boat's upholstery like I am today, uh, there's a lot of choices. Tons and tons of choices, actually. If you see here, I've got three bags full of cleaners and products I want to talk about today on this video, comparison, kind of say which one works and which one doesn't, or which one works best. And there's so many of them to choose from. You're not going to go out and buy every single one of these, but it sure be nice if a great company like Jetbo Pilot would make a video to save you a couple of bucks and a few minutes of your time. That's what we're all about. And we also like authenticity. We like genuineness here. It's one thing you'll know about us. If you've ever dealt with us, we want to only deal in the genuine, the real. So I want to go ahead and say right up front that none of these products are paid promoters. Uh, West Marine didn't reach out to us to ask our opinion. We simply wanted to know, what's the best cleaner for my upholstery? This is what they had on the shelf. I'm sure there's probably other products that were available that maybe weren't in stock. But for you average guys walking into a West Marine want to do some cleaning on your boat, which one's the best? Which one's going to give you the best bang for your buck? All of them are basically vinyl cleaners, but we're going to put them through the paces here. We're going to spray them on, wipe them off. We're going to follow the instructions. And when we're done, we're going to announce a winner. Eventually, the winner might even make it into the Jetboat Pilot store. We don't sell any of these products now, but if we have a clear, definitive winner that's an excellent product, we're always looking for new things, and we, we may add one of those to the store. So, well, let's jump right into this now. We're going to start uh, first kind of running down uh, each of the products and what they do, what they claim to do, and then we'll jump into our, uh, our test boat today. Really, really rough boat, been sitting outdoors for years. It's uh, on its last legs, it looks like. But we're gonna see if we can bring some of these cushions back and it'll be a really close, uh, a very clear comparison uh, for you. All right, so we've taken all of our cleaners. We've divided them into three categories. The first category gonna be multi-surface, kind of all-in-one type of cleaner. We divided them into vinyl clean as a standalone category. And then finally at the end here, a vinyl clean as well as protectant. This is more like a paste. All of them are gonna go through the process here, reading the instructions and going to the boat, lining it out systematically so you can see which one kind of stands out as the clear head and shoulders winner, or if there's one that's really close. We're gonna start here on the end here, product that says amazing roll off. We're gonna see how amazing this thing is says on the back here, spray on and rolls dirt off. Non-corrosive, rust inhibiting, no flashpoint, all purpose cleaner. We're gonna spray it on, wipe it off, see what it does. Follow me. All right, we're on the boat. As you can tell, this thing's been sitting out in the weather for years. This is uh, one of our test boats here that really doesn't run, but we use it for dimensions and verification of parts, and uh, it just it doesn't run, the engine's bad. But the upholstery's gone. I mean, you can tell there's areas where it's actually burned and it needs to be replaced. But it's a really good opportunity to show you on some of this upholstery that's still in good shape, kind of a worst case scenario. A really dirty boat's been sitting outside being abused and left and kind of neglected uh, for years. We're gonna see which one of these products does best. We've got each of these products kind of sectioned off on a really rough section of this boat here, both down low and up high. And then we've got it taped off here. It's gonna show us our various names. And then we'll have the ability to kind of separate the two uh, and to see distinctively how uh, it did. Got my first one today here, this amazing roll off. It simply says spray on, wipe off. So we're gonna see if we can spray it on and rinse it off actually. Spray it on and dirt rolls off. So you should be able to spray it on and just rinse it off. And to be thorough, I think what I might do now is just give it another spray. We're gonna scrub it a little bit and just see how much cleaner we can make it. And we've got a lot of dirt has been removed. We still have some staining in here in this little textured piece of fabric here. Up on the top here we have, looks like that would probably wipe off to a certain measure. That's about as good a tr try as we're gonna have on the roll off. Up top here, we've still got some marks here where we had this mildew. So that's not um, really necessarily a mildew cleaner, but it does look tremendous, uh, tremendously better. It looks significantly better than it did. Still some, some darker spots in the this lighter white colored vinyl here. So I would not say it's perfect, but considering how bad it was, it looks pretty good. Moving on to our next one here, Starbright 
Ultimate Extreme Clean. Starbright makes really great products. In one of our previous videos, they had one that actually came out winter. All Surface Cleaner Degreaser. By the way, these first few that we're shooting here are also more of your heavy duties. So this boat today is really rough, so we wanted to do the really heavy duty stuff first. So this cleaner here is supposed to be extreme clean, I guess for extreme cir circumstances. Engineered to remove the toughest dirt, grimy smears, nastiest greasy stains, etc. We're gonna spray it on and wipe it off, let's do it. We've still got some of these darker spots that were there before, kind of like what we see next door with the roll off. Still got some spots in here on our uh, textured vinyl really deep woven style textured vinyl it's tough to get down into those little spots well, that is the ultimate extreme clean from starbright moving right along here mcguire's extreme marine multi-surface cleaner cleans vinyl non-skid canvas outboards and wipes away grease fish blood black streaks and more all of these are going to say it cleans everything and all these are going to say it does better than everybody else we're going to find out today which one's the best Let's see how extreme this is. All right, well, comparing the two, still seeing similar situation here with the Meguiar's Extreme Marine. We've got the same spotting going on here. Up top here, we're seeing where it's still got the same, looks like the mildew stains there. So next up, 303. I hear a lot of really good things about this product. This is a multi-surface cleaner. Great for fabrics and vinyl surfaces. It says fabrics, plastics, metals. Apparently it cleans everything under the sun as well. Let's see how it does. About the same. And then also you see back in here, we've still got all these little spots on the textured. Mildew spots and stains, real similar to what we had before. 303 multi-surface. So we finished our first category, which is gonna be your multi-surface, kind of all-in-one bottles. We're gonna move now into the more specific vinyl clean product category. First in line here is the West Marine brand. Simply says, instant vinyl cleaner. Penetrates deep into vinyl to remove dirt and grime. Safe for vinyl, rubber, and leather. But let's see how the West Marine vinyl cleaner does. It's not clean. There's, there's little grains and, and stains down in those little woven textured uh, fibers there. All right, moving right along here. 3M Marine, Vinyl Cleaner and Restore. I really like 3M products. Uh, my experience with 3M is they're a science-based company. They really have great engineers, scientists making their products better. So uh, let's try out the 3M Marine Vinyl Cleaner. To me, it seems like about the same. Up on the textured vinyl, you'll see that you've got these little spots that are still there. And that mildew area, I've kind of felt like maybe it did a better job with the mildew area. Uh, Almost like there's a protectant built in, whereas these feel a little bit more dry over here. Vinyl sauce from Boat Bling. We love, love, love Boat Bling hot sauce. It's a spray on, wipe off water spot remover. One of the best in the industry, maybe the best that we've tested. We used to sell them in the store some time ago. Our previous experience says this is not as effective as some others that we've tested, but we're going to try it out today and see how it does. To me, it looks like this section here is just a little bit lighter and it's finished uh, appearance so it looks a little bit cleaner to me i would say results maybe a little better starbright ultimate vinyl clean removes tough dirt stains and grime engineered to remove greasy smears dirt stains and more from vinyl plastic leather and rubber surfaces powerful formula that's tough on stains but won't harm the vinyl all right well, let's see how the ultimate vinyl clean does in here in the uh, textures We've got a pretty good result. Still has a little bit of residual there, but um, definitely looks good. The mildew is heavy, heavy here. It did not touch the mildew. Next up, Starbright Ultimate Fabric Clean. The last product was an Ultimate Vinyl Clean. This is an Ultimate Fabric Clean. I bought it because it was in the same section. This says it's good for all outdoor fabrics. I felt like vinyl was an outdoor fabric. <laughs> We're gonna try this out too, because it was on the shelf. We're gonna see how this does. Starbright Ultimate Fabric Clean. This one is probably not gonna do real great here because this is made for umbrella fabrics and other types of, imagine outdoor fabrics. We're gonna try it on the vinyl to see because it was in the store and I said, let's give it a shot. So this feels like maybe it's a better result in the mildew area than before. All the rest of these have definitive spots remaining. Whereas in this here, although they are there, they're very faint. So I feel like if we did a couple more treatments with this, we might get that to where that looks really great. We've got a very bright white textured vinyl now. Vinyl here at the base here is also very clean, nearer to the original, not 
not brand new looking, but still very clean by comparison. So that did very well. So it kind of surprised me a little bit. Last up, these two are more like a paste type of consistency. You've got your Starbright Vinyl Cleaner and Polish and 3M Marine Vinyl Cleaner con Conditioner and Protector. Uh, both of these products are claimed to be a vinyl cleaner, so we're gonna try them as well. 3M Marine Vinyl Cleaner Conditioner and Protector. Directions for use, put a very small amount of the creamy white gel on a clean cloth, sp spread evenly using a circular motion, working the gel into the surface, turn cloth frequently, and buff to a gloss. I think out of fairness to the other that we've done in this video, I am gonna use the scrub brush and a little bit of water just to see if we get a similar result. All right, let's give it a quick dry. I don't see anything that really kind of leads me to believe that's any better than the rest. If anything, it may be a, not quite as good as the rest. Last up, Starbright Vinyl Cleaner and Polish with UV protection. So similar to our 3M test, cleans, protects, brightens, renews all vinyl surfaces. Deep cleans to restore vinyl surfaces, leaves a protective barrier to help repel grime, stains, and UV damage. It's a good comparison to see right here. We have fabric clean coming down here and we have this Starbright vinyl clean here. And from where I stand, this looks cleaner than this does. Both of them were soiled very heavily. That's the final product test there, the vinyl polish and cleaner from Starbright. From there, what are your thoughts? Put them in the comments below. Which one do you think thus far has kind of given us the, the best results? I think from where I stand right now, interestingly enough, the first one is the product I didn't even expect to be a contender, which is this Ultimate Fabric Clean. It's from Starbright. It's got a really clean, you know, bottom white pad here. It's got a, a little brighter luster to it here in this textured vinyl area. And at the top here, it's probably the very best uh, removal of the mildew that we've seen. And then right behind that, we have the very first product we used, which was the amazing roll off. And it's got a, um, a very clean, you know, white vinyl here, Still the spotting's in here. So we'll have to see how that does in a, in a runoff. But you've got very clean vinyl here and this uh, um, mildew section looks to me to be a little bit lighter than the rest. So these two would be what I would put in the the head-to-head -head contest at the end. The, the rest, from what I can see, nothing really stands out as a clear, definitive third contestant. So let's do it. Let's do a, uh, a ultimate torture test. We're gonna find some really awful places around the boat. We're gonna run the amazing roll-off and the ultimate fabric clean head-to-head, -head, see which one comes out. All right, well, down to two. This is gonna be the runoff. We have a uh, amazing roll-off, spray-on, wash-off product. We also have this uh, Starbright Ultimate Fabric Clean, which is kind of surprising to me. I did not think that this would even be in the running, but <laughs> here it is. I'm gonna spray it on this mildew area. I'm gonna spray it on this deep, dirty area here, which has a little bit of mildew in it, and also this textured fabric area. We're gonna compare the two side by side. It's supposed to be white. It looks almost almond in its color right now because it's so dirty, but it's gonna clean this white vinyl and this textured vinyl here. And when we're done, we'll announce the winner. Fabric clean. The amazing roll off. What do you think? I'm looking at the textured material here, looking at the, up here at the top, the side here, you know, it could just be that this side had more mildew in it than this one did, but I felt like when we walked up that this was actually the dirtier side of the two was my first appraisal of it. Also down here, I've got a lot of dinginess still here, whereas on this side, it feels like to me, it's cleaner on this side. Looking at this area here, about the same, but cleaner on this side than on this side. So, I think from my perspective, the plain bottle says a lot because they're not trying to sell you with the looks. They just make a great product, they stick it in a plain bottle, and they call it amazing. Super strength cleaning product developed for boaters. Works wonders when others won't. So, apparently that's fact. They let the product speak for itself. They don't need a fancy bottle for it. So. 
I don't know if this will make it into the jet boat pilot store. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But I will tell you this, if you've got a really awful, dirty, nasty boat and you're trying to clean up, if you've got some pesky stains that are really tough, this is a good place to start. All right, folks, well, there you have it. We have uh, done our comparison test here. Results are pretty conclusive. This uh, amazing roll off turned out to be pretty amazing. Um, we want to make sure that we're clear. This is not an exhaustive review of all vinyl cleaners that are on the market today. We realize there's a lot of other cleaners out there. You may have a favorite cleaner that you kind of have as your go-to. You may be a manufacturer or a company's rep that has a really great product that you'd like to kind of see put through the paces like this. And uh, we welcome that. So we're putting out a challenge. Send us your information, send us an email, comment below in the messages. Send us a bottle of your favorite stuff. I know McGuire's has a 57, uh, Babe's Boat Care has a seat soap that I like a lot, and there's probably a lot of others out there we're not aware of. And let's do an ultimate vinyl cleaning challenge. We'll do another video in another 30 days or so here and get it out there. And that video for me would be a lot more valuable than just a simple random sampling from what was on the shelf there at West Marine. But this video today got us going on the right track, got us started. We obviously have a clear winner to start with here. So if you're gonna get to a cleaning project for your boat, you wanna clean the vinyl up, this is probably the best place to start here. And I'm sure these other products do a great job too, but this has been the clear winner for our video today. So we thank you for watching this video. We hope video today, we hope it was helpful to you. If you have more questions or you need more information, you can reach us at jetboatpilot.com. Also social media, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, any of those places where they're pretty much all the time there to answer your questions and uh, be helpful in any, any way we can. So once again, we appreciate you watching this video today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.